You might enjoy playing sports, socializing with your friends. You might value self-care, spending time with family. Maybe you really value exercise and staying healthy. It can be kind of scary, intimidating, and even kind of demotivating to think that you might have to give all of that up, all the lifestyle that you've built, just in order to become an actuary and achieve this career goal. So the question is, do you have to sacrifice everything, the lifestyle that you have right now, in order to become an actuary? I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their very first actuarial job all without an internship. Now the truth is that you do not fully need to sacrifice anything in order to become an actuary. That's right, you don't need to sacrifice fully anything. Of course, becoming an actuary is something that is going to take a lot of your time. It's a big goal, but that's true for basically any goal in your life and anything that you like to do. But just because becoming an actuary is such a big goal, it doesn't mean that it has to become your number one and only priority in life. It can be hard because becoming an actuary takes a long time and most of us that want to pursue the actuarial career are very action oriented, we're determined, we are really hard working. We typically want to keep pushing forward, we want to challenge ourselves, and usually when we have a goal we want to go all in on it. And that often works for us, especially for shorter term goals, like passing a midterm for example. We could cram all night for that midterm and come out with an A or at least a B. But becoming an actuary is a long term goal and we have to treat it like that. We have to treat it differently than we usually do. Now this goal isn't one that you should aim to achieve as fast as you can in the shortest amount of time. There's no prize at the end for becoming the actuary that gets there the quickest. So if you don't want to give up all your family time, your exercise, habits, your friendships, just to become an actuary, that is 1000% possible. You just have to be intentional about it, intentional about your time. Now when I say intentional, I mean you have to be purposefully making sure that all the things that you once like to do and the things that you still want to do are not put on the back burner just because you have a new goal that you're going after. You see, for so many future actuaries, their mentality is go, 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 go. They believe that if they just give up everything that they once liked to do and focus solely on becoming an actuary, that that is going to be the best and fastest way to achieve their goal. But the truth is when you do that, it often leads to stress, it leads to burnout, it leads to overwhelm, it leads to resentment for the career, it leads to an unbalanced lifestyle that is just no longer enjoyable anymore. And sometimes that even makes the journey longer than it would be otherwise. I fell into this exact trap myself several times and now looking back at it I wish I had done things differently but you can only see that usually looking back and I am sharing this with you now looking forward because I know what you're getting into and I know how hard it is but I also know 100% that it is possible to achieve this goal while still keeping your lifestyle in check. It does not have to be a race. Now you're probably thinking all this sounds great, it might be putting your mind at ease, you might be starting to feel the overwhelm of becoming an actuary just start to fade away but you also might be wondering how can you apply this to your life right now? How can you continue doing the things you love all while you're trying to achieve this goal of becoming an actuary? I would so much like to know what you like to do in your free time. You know that I love going for walks, I love playing soccer, I love doing all these things. Now I want to hear from you as well. What do you want to keep up and continue doing? What's part of your lifestyle that you don't want to give up just to become an actuary? Let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so I'm going to share with you what I would do if I was in your exact situation, not wanting to give up my whole lifestyle, my social life, all that, just in order to achieve the goal of becoming an actuary. And I found that this is the best and most reliable way to realistically figure out how you're going to fit in your actuarial goals amongst all the other things that you want to keep doing in your life. It's fairly simple, it only takes about 10 minutes. It's make a plan. That's right. Simple, right? Make a plan. Figure out when exactly you are going to spend time on your actuarial goals. Maybe it's Monday from 4 to 6 p.m., Tuesdays from, I don't know, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., Wednesdays, maybe that's your break day. Figure it all out so you know exactly which day of the week and which time slots are going to go towards your actuarial goal. 
But the thing is here that because you also want to prioritize your lifestyle, you have to figure out when you're going to fit in those other things that are part of your lifestyle that you want to continue doing as well. So amongst your actuarial goals, you also have to schedule in those other things that you love to do. Now, if you're a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, which is open for enrollment from now until the next two and a half days, Thursday at midnight, you can go in and download the 168 hour schedule. Basically, this is a schedule hour by hour for a full week. There are 168 hours in a week and you can fill that out to really help you prioritize your actuarial goals amongst all the other things that you want to keep in your lifestyle. It means you're going to be able to balance your life and your actuarial goals and you don't have to give up all the things that you once loved to do just in order to achieve the goal of becoming an actuary. If you like that idea, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Now, most people watching this video, I'd say probably 95% of you will hear what I'm saying but not do anything about it. You won't go and create this plan that I've been talking about. And that means that either one of two things is probably going to happen. Number one, going to let your actuarial goals take over your lifestyle. You're going to end up getting stressed, overwhelmed, maybe resentful or deterred from the actuarial career. Or two, you're going to decide not to pursue the career because it just seems too daunting, too overwhelming. But please, please, please just try this out. It only takes 10 minutes to create a weekly plan for yourself so that you can really figure out how this is going to fit in without having to sacrifice all the things that you love to do as well. Now, if you're not sure where to start or what to do in order to become a great candidate for actuarial jobs so that you can get that job as quickly as possible while still keeping up with your lifestyle, then check out the Actuary Accelerator community. It is open for enrollment right now until Thursday. You can go to etchedactuarial.com accelerator to get all the details. But basically, this is a step-by-step -step guide that's going to give you all the resources you need to go from beginner actuarial candidate all the way to competitive top actuarial candidate and get your first job. It'll give you all those resources, show you exactly what order to do things in so that you never have to think about it. You just go from one module to the next module in order and you will eventually be a top candidate and be in an excellent position to get your first actuarial job all without an internship, without having to sacrifice your lifestyle, all that sort of stuff. So go check it out. Enrollment closes on Thursday. I would love to have you become a member. That is all for this week. Bye.